Hello everyone, this is Whitey, and in this video we are going to take a look at Warlock Glyphs. Burning Embers for Destruction spec, it increases your maximum burning embers by one. Conflagrate for Destruction, uh, it no longer requires Immolate to snare the target. Curse of Exhaustion for Affliction, now reduces the target's movement speed by 70%. It lasts half as long and has a 10 second cooldown. Dark Soul, while off cooldown, your Dark Soul ability passively grants you 10% of the active effect, but reduces the power of Dark Soul by 10%. Uh, Demon Hunting for Demonology, it teaches the ability Dark Apothesis, which reduces physical damage taken by 15.98%. It reduces magic damage taken by 15% and allows you to use various demonic abilities. In addition, Soul Shatter taunts a target, Twilight Ward will absorb all schools of damage, and Shadow Bolt becomes Demonic Slash. Uh, demon Training improves your Demon Special Abilities. If you're Imp, your Firebolt's cast time is reduced by 50% and it fires in burst to 3. Uh, for Voidwalker, it increases your Voidwalker's total armor by 10%. Your Succubus' Seduction Ability will also remove all damage over time from the target. When your Fell Hunter uses Devour Magic, it will also be healed for that amount. And it increases your Fell Guard's total health by 20%. Demonic Circle reduces the cooldown on Demonic Circle by 4 seconds. Everlasting Affliction for Affliction and Demonology. It increases the duration of Unstable Affliction, Corruption, Doom, and Agony by 50% and reduces their damage by 20%. Uh, fear causes the target to tremble in place instead of fleeing in fear, but now causes fear to have a 5 second cooldown. Uh, health Stone, you receive 100% more healing from using a Health Stone, but the health is restored over 10 seconds. Imp Swarm for Demonology. It teaches Imp Swarm, which summons 5 wild imps to attack the target, the Wild Imp's passive effect uh, is disabled while this ability is on cooldown. Imp Swarm's cooldown is reduced by spell haste, and Wild Imp's cooldown is increased by 4 seconds. Uh, life Tap. Your Life Tap no longer consumes health, but instead absorbs X healing received. The Absorb lasts 30 seconds and stacks. And Shadow Flame. Your Shadow Flame slow is increased to 70%, but your Hand of Gul'dan no longer has charges. Siphon Life, your Corruption Spell will heal you for 20% of the damage dealt. Soul Consumption, your Drained Soul restores 20% of your total health after you kill a target that yields experience or honor. You restore 20% of your total health in Demon Form after you kill a target that yields experience or honor. And you restore 20% of your total health after you kill a target with Chaos Bolt or Shadow Burn that yields experience or honor. I misspelled Shadow Burn. Soul Shards for Affliction, it increases your maximum Soul Shards by 1. Soul Swap for Affliction. Uh, your soul swap leaves behind your damage over time effects on the target you soul swap from, but gives soul swap a 30 second cooldown. Soul stone, players resurrected by soul stone and return to life with 100% health. An unstable affliction for affliction spec, when this effect is removed it instantly deals critical damage to both the target and the dispeller, uh, but it no longer silences. And for your minor glyphs, we have Carrion Swarm for Demonology. This ability no longer knocks targets back. Crimson Banish, your banish is now red. Enslaved Demon, it reduces the cast time if you're Enslaved Demon by 50%. Eye of Killrog, this ability is no longer stealth and can now place your demonic circle. In addition, the movement speed is increased by 50% and is allowed to fly in areas where flying mounts are enabled. Uh, Falling Meteor for Demonology. If you use Demonic Leap while falling, you slam into the ground rapidly and will not die from fall damage. For Felguard, for Demonology, your Felguard will equip a random two-handed axe, sword, or polearm from your backpack. A Hand of Gul'dan for Demonology, this ability can now be targeted at a location. And Health Funnel, your Health Funnel instantly restores 15% of your demon's health, but it has a 10 second cooldown. For Nightmares, uh, your Felsteed and Dreadsteed can now cross water while running and they leave a trail of flames. Shadow Bolt for Demonology splits your Shadow Bolt into three smaller attacks. Soul Well, your Soul Well glows with an eerie light. Uh, Subtlety, Affliction, your Soul Shards no longer display while out of combat. Unending Breath, it increases the swim speed of targets uh, affected by Unending Breath by 20%. 
and verdant spears for affliction and destruction. Your soul shards are transformed into verdant spears. Spheres. And these are glyphs for the Warlock class. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.